can lie down for me, please, right here. Okay. And I'm gonna be inspecting your abdomen, if that's okay. I'm just gonna pull these down just a little bit. Okay. So when I first look at my patient's stomach, I'm gonna note that there are no signs of any pulsations, no signs of hernias, no signs of any lesions or erythema. So now I'm gonna be using my stethoscope to listen to the bowel sounds in all four quadrants, starting in the right lower quadrant. If I don't hear breath sounds after a few seconds, I will listen for five minutes in each quadrant. Okay, bowel sounds were heard every few seconds, so they are normal active. Now I'm going to be doing some palpation or touching. I'm going to be asking you to let me know if you feel any pain during this. So first, light palpation. Any pain? No. Still no pain? Nope. Okay, now I'm going to be doing it a little deeper. Again, let me know if you feel any pain. Still no pain? Nope. Okay, perfect. Patient reported no tenderness, muscle tone was even throughout, no rigidity was noted, no signs of ascites, and no masses. Were Move down to your stomach, okay? Do you have any stomach problems, pain, uncomfortableness, mm -hmm. regular bowel movements? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna start by listening, okay? I'm gonna pull your shorts down just a little bit. Sounds good. Lots of bowel sounds. Now I'm going to percuss, okay? Mm -hmm. Your aorta was also very strong when I was listening. stomach so I'm gonna start with a light touch let me know if anything becomes uncomfortable and now I'm gonna go into a deeper um, palpation so please let me know if it becomes uncomfortable I'm just gonna lift this up. Now, are you having any pains at all today? <laughs> okay. First, I'm just gonna listen. I'm gonna inspect. So your abdominal, your abdomen is symmetrical. There doesn't appear to be any um, lesions or anything, and your skin still appears to be true to ethnicity. So now I'm just gonna also tape for just bowel sounds. Okay. 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 
So there were vowel sounds in all four quadrants. So now I'm just going to palpate each quadrant, all right? And you can tell me if you feel any tenderness or pain. You didn't feel anything at all? Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're going to move. Now I'm going to listen for bruise in your arteries. So I'm going to start with your aortic one, and that will be just two inches above your belly button. And I'm going to use the bell of my stethoscope, and I don't want to hear any swishing sound. All right, and then I'm going to move over and do your renal. Just down here, and I'm going to do two inches below and two inches over and do your iliac. All right, so there were no bruise present. So I'm going to... All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay all the way back again. And I'm going to lift up your shirt. We're going to be looking at your abdomen. I see no lesions or masses. Um, again, your skin color. I don't see any cyanosis, paler, ruber, or jaundice. Um, I see that the contour is flat. And first, I'm going to be listening with my stethoscope for your bowel sounds. going to be listening in four quadrants, right upper and lower, and then left upper and lower quadrants. Bowel signs are present in all quadrants. And now I'm going to be doing a percussion, which is just me tapping on my finger in each quadrant. I hear timpani in all quadrants. And now I'm going to be doing just a light rub on your stomach in each quadrant. I'm going to start in the right upper quadrant. And then this is where your liver and gallbladder is. And then this right lower quadrant. This is where your ascending colon is in your appendix. And then this left lower quadrant. This is where your sigmoid colon is. And then the left upper quadrant. This is where your stomach, spleen, and pancreas is. I don't feel any masses, see no deformities again, um, I felt no resistance. Did you feel any tenderness? No. No? Alright, um, if you will go ahead and sit up for me again. Actually I lied, I'm going to have you lay back down. So sorry, I'm going to raise your shirt again, I forgot to listen for bruise, we just want to check your arteries. But I'm going to be doing this with the bell of my stethoscope. So we're going to start with your aortic artery, and then your renal arteries on both sides. And your arteries all right I don't hear any bruises. equal bilaterally and now for real this time I needed to set up um, yeah, 
that's perfect. You can have your feet comfortably bent for me. I'm gonna start off by inspecting the abdomen, um, the contour, noting any um, striate, distension, pulsations, masses. Um, after I do the inspection, I'm also good, I forgot, for an inspection, I am going to inspect the condition of the umbilicus. I'm now going to auscultate in each of the four quadrants um, for bowel sounds. If I don't immediately hear the bowel sounds, I'm going to listen for one full minute in each of the four quadrants. Is it okay if I move? Please move it. Okay. 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 Next time that I'm done with auscultation, I'm going to move to percussion. So starting off, I'm going to percuss each of the four quadrants, um, listening for timpani and dullness. I'm going to percuss for splenic enlargement at the lowest intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. So I'm going to find that right here. I want you to take a deep breath in and then deep breath out. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to palpation. So first I'm going to ask you, do you have any areas of pain in your abdomen? Okay, if she were to have pain, I would normally um, palpate that area last. I would have her pointed out, obviously, and then palpate last. Um, so first, I'm going to start with light palpation. Um, so I'm just going to note any signs of distress and any, like, if I can feel any superficial masses. So I'm just going to go ahead. Any pain? Okay. And now I'm going to palpate all four quadrants again, um, but for deep palpation. Um, for noting any distress, looking at her face, and also for any deep masses I can feel. Any tenderness? Okay. I'm going to palpate the liver edge now, so I'm going to have you take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and I was um, noting any enlargement tenderness like tenderness or masses. Um, I'm going to move on and palpate for splenic enlargement on the left side. Can I actually have you please move a little bit? Thanks. <laughs> that way I'm not like fully reaching over. Okay, so I'm going to have you take a deep breath in now and then out. Okay. And then I'm now going to. Yeah. Perfect. Is okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. First, we're going to inspect the patient's abdomen. There's no lesions, no masses, no abnormalities seen. Our next step is we're going to auscultate the, the abdominal sounds. We will start with the right lower quadrant and work our way clockwise. We're listening to active, we're gonna to listen to active bowel sounds. There should be five to 35 clicks per minute. If there was not, I would listen at five minutes for each quadrant. Also listening right here for any, any aneurysms or bruise heard. The patient had normal active bowel sounds and no bruise were heard. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to percuss the abdom abdominal cavity and that what we should hear is tympany. So we'll start again with the right lower quarter. That's the sound that we wanted to hear was timpani. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to palpate the light palp palpitation on the abdomen, just going in a half an inch on each quadrant. Are you feeling any pain while I do this? No. Any nausea or vomiting while I do this? No. 
Last, we're gonna test for the deep palpation, which we're gonna go just a little bit deeper. We're checking for any masses. No pain when I'm doing any of this? No. Okay. Perfect, you can lower your shirt. 